I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on rate of change. We are taking many application questions. Here is question number three. A spherical balloon is being inflated. Find the rate of change of the volume with respect to the radius when the radius is 10 cm. Use difference quotient method. You need to know some formulas here. So first is the volume itself of sphere, which is 4 by 3 pi r cube, right? Now we can use this formula. We know radius 10. We need to find instantaneous rate of change when radius is 10. So uh, instantaneous rate of change using difference quotient method. So using difference quotient method, it is f of x plus h minus f of x. So that is the difference in the y values and difference in the x values will be x plus h minus x which is h and this is always applied when h is very very small as compared to 1. Now in our case uh, radius is given to us as 10 we'll substitute this value later right so we'll just find a general expression right so we can write this as uh, the function as uh, 4 by 3 pi so radius in this case is the variable so we can write this as r plus h right so r plus h whole cube minus 4 by 3 pi r cube over h now you see 4 by 3 pi is a common factor so we can always take this as common so we can write this as 4 by 3 uh, pi over h right so that becomes a common factor here let us expand r plus h whole cube right so a you should know this expansion also uh, let me write down here uh, a plus b whole cube is basically equals to a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b cube so we're going to use this particular formula to expand so we have r cube plus 3 r square h plus 3 r h square plus h cube right? and here we are left with r cube minus r cube correct so that gives you 4 by 3 pi over h now here you can see r cube and r cube will cancel you're left with terms and all these terms have h so i'll taking h common correct so we're left with 3r square plus 3r h plus h square correct now we can cancel h and h so so we get a general expression for the instantaneous rate of change and we also know that h is very very small as compared to one so it can be neglected, right? So, so these terms will be approaching zero, correct? So we are left with 3r square. So let's take it on this side. We'll write this equation that instantaneous rate of change is equals to 4 by 3 pi h have cancelled. And we have here 3r square. So 3 and 3 will also cancel. So we get this instantaneous rate of change at any point will be 4 pi r square. So that is also a surface area, right? So do you see that? So instantaneous rate of change of volume is same as the surface area for that particular value of r. Now, we need to find this as r equals to 10. So we can say instantaneous rate of change at r equals to 10 will be 4 pi times 10 square or is equals to 400 pi unit square right centimeters is the unit so centimeters square right so that is how we can do it if you want you can calculate the decimal value so 400 times 3.14 you know uh, it gives you 1256 approximately so approximately 1256 centimeters square right so that becomes your answer to the given question so I hope that uh, the method is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.